Farm Wife. You are going to love those books. They are one of the ones that I use the most. And that Salsa Verde recipe is absolutely amazing. Not to mention the Put em Up Fruit book. She wrote two books that I have. I have two of her books. Um, the Put em Up Fruit, it takes the fruit um, processing even a more amazing. But the problem is, is I love books. Something that you will learn is I love books and I love supporting authors. So I won't share a recipe. I won't give you a recipe unless it's one that I created. Um, if it came from a book, I'll just tell you the book it came from because I think everybody needs to see the book. So this is a stash I don't use very often. This is the I use them, I need them for reference. It's all homesteading, repairs, herbal, apothecary, permaculture, gardening, um, using every bit of your food, making do, depression era, seed saving, gardening, companion planting, and then you have cookbooks up there. Then on the other side over there, I actually have an entire section of books that are like 1800s, 1900s type books mm, on the same topics. And then I have this cupboard. I have this cupboard up here that is preserving, um, bread making, all the books that I use on a daily, weekly basis and including ones that are overflowing that no longer fit in there. I have no clue what I'm going to do. I clearly have a problem. It's also books by appliances, Instant Pot, air fryers, my bread machine, things like that. But I use them all and they all provide benefit. And the interesting thing, I have read quite a few of those cover to cover. Because if you read them cover to cover, I have found that you really gain a lot of information from the books that kick everything up to a whole nother level. So yes, with that said, I will be sharing the books every time I use one. I highly think we need to be supporting the authors. Um, they've done an amazing job and I like all the flavor that comes from all the different books. In the meantime, I need to go rescue my roosters. They're probably mad at me right now. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. I might not be letting my, my chickens out. I just ran across a bobcat chasing my cat who just ran into the fence and knocked my fence open. Holy shoot. They best not be making mama bear mad because I'm a little mad now.